Okay, now let's look at the membrane fusion in greater detail. So what we have covered it is that we have a, a vesicle and the vesicle full of uh, cargo proteins which has to be delivered to a particular target membrane location. And this is our target membrane in this picture. The target membrane uh, is, uh, it can be any organelle membrane, it can be the cell membrane itself. So in this case, let's consider it as a cell membrane and you have the vesicle with uh, some proteins on in it. And the vesicle uh, is consists of the visne. It, it attaches to the visnear the visnear is sticking out from the uh, from the vesicle and remember it is the arm of the vesicle which is having the hand the hand is going to be shake with uh, the hand of the target membrane so visnear is made up with a particular types of protein which is called the synaptobrevin in this picture we are looking at the nerve cell plasma membrane and this nerve cell lots of membrane fusion is going on lots of membrane uh, vesicle transport is going on because because all the time different neurotransmitter has to be secreted out from the from one nerve cell to another nerve cell from one nerve cell to the inter nerve terminal junction and through this nerve terminal junction the overall nerve impulse system is going on so in this case what we are looking at the V snare which is made up with the synaptobrevin is coming out and also the T snare which is coming out from the target membrane is made up with another sets of protein we call it the syntaxin so these two different types of proteins are working together. The T snare is made up with syntaxin, or we can also call it the synaptonemal associated protein or SNAP, SNAP protein. And this is the designation of SNAP25 is the name of that protein. So what is what is normally going on in this, this synaptic vesicle is coming out and they interact uh, via the V snare and T snare interaction. They attach with each other, they just coil itself themselves up and finally that, that actually pulling that is actually pulling this vesicle towards this uh, nerve uh, target cell mem membrane and this, the, as as uh, as they are pulling it tighter this vesicle is coming very closer and closer and finally when they come in really close prox proximity in this uh, lower picture you can see uh, and they, when they come in really lower proximity so in this case there are lots of water I inside uh, this environment and whenever the Wiesner and Tisner are interacting so hard the so water are dissociated so there are less uh, area for water to interact between the, ve uh, the vesicle and the uh, target membrane so there are less water they come in close proximity and as a result water molecule is getting cleaved and water is released, released and finally these membranes are making an area which is uh, very very much similar like the area which we can find in the cell membrane or inside a cell membrane that is the hydrophobic hydrophobic region in the hydrophobic region this is this area uh, which is made via the vesicle as well as the target membrane and along with the v snare and t snare which is an area which is made uh, totally hydrophobic in nature in this hydrophobic area there are no uh, uh, no water so this cell membrane components can easily be cleaved out and they can really attach, re they can really reconstruct themselves in such a way that they can be formed. So this, uh, this light uh, black color appearance can be disrupted and they, they will join with each other like that and after the joining with each other uh, the whole system is actually going to be fused. In this stage, we call it the stock stage. In the stock stage, the fusion is done. After the fusion, what you can see, this V snare and T snare is actually elongating towards the, this different direction. So this uh, this interaction of, of fibers going this direction and this interaction fiber get, get going this left direction. Finally, they are pulling these things out. And after some time uh, of pulling out, what we are going to, we are going through the hemifusion stage. In this hemifusion stage, after the tight pulling, would, would we end up with something like that. And now, there is less work to be done because the inner membrane remains here, but we, we still need to fuse this membrane to make, uh, to uh, attach these two compartments together because now, uh, via the thin membrane, we have separated the vesicle area and the, ex and the cellular extracellular area. But uh, if we fuse these membranes, then those two areas are become together in the same area, same compartment, which is actually our goal. So what, what cell does in this situation, they just going to cleave again the rearrangement, uh, rearrange these uh, cell membrane components, they attach this themselves together and finally, 
uh, finally what they make is the same compartment and the all cargo proteins which are present in this vesicle region or the vesicle uh, region like there all cargo protein can easily enter in inside the this or can easily in ex exit from the cell like this so that's how this stage is called the fusion and that's how the fusion is made and right after the fusion what happens the uh, effect of ATP as well as the different protein complexes and components uh, is going to separate the V snare from T snare and the V snare allows along with uh, a stretch of cell membrane components can be pinched off again and they can be sent back to, to the cytosol to make another round of this uh, vesicle transport to, have to be happen again. So that's how the actual membrane fusion is done.